What's the worst part of depression? Having it be part of your everyday life. If you're suicidal you just have those thoughts, and just casually think about it every day. If you take pills and have chronic depression, it feels as if you can't function without them, and it's just like damn am I really just not a functioning human being? There's also being unable to do basic chores, doing the dishes feel like a horrible endeavor. And then there's the isonatium from everyone you know and love, and not finding the joy in things you loved doing. It just sucks. For me, disappointing family. Not being me at gatherings. It is also hard to cry when I want to but the tears and rush doesn't come. I'm lost. I wish it on no one. I wish I'll wake up refreshed but I don't. Hit refresh but I feel the same. I want a genuine feeling. Listening to a music is not fun. When I can't enjoy music anymore I know that I'm in the darkest hole. Other things are a self-hatred and emptiness. For me I when I actually couldn't feel anything, I don't really know what I am gonna do, what I'm gonna think ABT or worry ABT, I'd quite to plan out now that I became lazy and use my phone all day, ABT school, it's the worst feeling that you couldn't really focus and you try to do HW but you felt like you really can't, and today I'm trying the best of my life although sometimes I feel weak. That at a certain point the familiarity of depression is comforting, and the idea of breaking out of it is terrifying. When you live for so long with something dominating your life, you become uneasy when it's gone, even if it was bad to begin with. Comments like think about all that you have to be grateful for. Told my dad about having been depressed for 5 plus years now and after explaining why, just getting laughed at and told to stop thinking negatively. Thanks for the help. There's a pain. Not a physical pain, but a part of the brain that takes the desperation and the other feelings and turns them into a pain I can only describe as not real. Wanting to get stuff accomplished but not being able to find the motivation to begin. Sometimes you don't even know you're depressed. Deleted. Not getting out every couple of days. Not knowing if it will ever go away. Not just men, as women experience it just the same, a lot of times we're just able to hide it better. Probably the depression aspect. The memory loss slash inability to remember anything. I've been dealing with this part recently and it's awful. Not knowing you have it thinking it's something else. For me, it was waking up in the morning. I was only happy when I was asleep. Having anxiety and depression can loop together so when I'm anxious I get depressed and when I'm depressed I get anxious. The lack of motivation to do anything. Becoming numb to your friends and the things you used to love. Not being able to leave bed because of this, then hating yourself for being so unproductive. Convincing yourself you're unlovable because of this. Having these thoughts override your mind so you aren't thinking about anything else and literally get dumber. Less interesting. This destroys your sense of confidence and self-worth some more. Then the cycle starts back at the beginning of this paragraph. Every time you think you feel happy and content, you get sucked back into the cycle of feeling nothing. The stereotype of depression is constant sadness, but the reality for some is feeling nothing at all. No joy, no sorrow, no anger, nothing. And that lack of emotion just eats away at you to the point of physically hurting. And I hate it. I want to get out of that cycle. I want the pain to stop. I just want to be happy, and not have a reason to be happy. I just want to be happy just because. I'm tired. Hearing people say, it's okay slash it is going to be okay, while deep down you know it is not and won't be. For me it's when you feel happy, and you don't understand what you're feeling. You've lived through not caring for so long, it just feels like it's a part of you and you feel like something is missing when it's gone. And then you get happy when you feel happy, then you feel sad that you're happy cause you feel like you don't deserve it. Then when the happiness leaves, the despair feels even worse. The fact that no matter how hard you try, sometimes you just can't make yourself do anything. People call you lazy for it, then you feel worse, and then you do even less. That sometimes people get suicidal, not because they don't want to live but because they want to get relief, 
and suicide seems the only option. No matter how bad you feel, seek help, for example therapy, you can get through this. I be live in all of you, dear internet friends smile. Losing interest in the things you're passionate about. Watching the one thing that keeps you going completely fail to motivate you hurts. And having to deal with all the thoughts about how useless you are and how you're better off dead while acting like nothing's wrong and going about business as usual is terrible, too. Somehow it almost amplifies the pain. Loneliness. Being home all alone every day without friends or family. The blackness. The nothing. Not feeling anything. Except for the incredible, intolerable pain and despair. The loneliness. Suffering in silence. Your mind has several incisions and rips under pressure as you fail to try to find the tear. You try to forge a smile in front of the eyes of the ones you love but they know you're truly never there. The lack of care for personal hygiene. The drive not to do anything, which ends up making said depression worse. Being depressed. Things that once made you feel some type of joy or happiness simply do not anymore. It can wreck your life by making you not want to function which in turn makes you more depressed. Knowing that even though you feel okay right now it will all come back down on you eventually. Everyone around you is happy that you're feeling good and so you don't say anything when you start to feel it coming back again because you don't want them to worry about you again. Also knowing that even though ending it would free you from the feelings it would destroy your family so no matter what things will be shitty one way or another. Life begins to feel like purgatory. Losing interest in the things I love. When you recognize you are depressed, and do not have the energy to improve your situation. A lot of times you will be depressed for a while before you acknowledge it yourself. Once you are at that point, you are most likely self-remedying the situation. Unfortunately, the remedies perpetuate the depression, reducing your energy, making it even harder to recover. All of it. The lack of motivation. I want it to get better but I don't have the motivation slash feel too tired to actually do it. I would say the acceptance. After a while you get used to being in this negative headspace, and it becomes a cerebral home. Depression robs you of the initiative that can be required to make positive changes in your life. The lost time. Even if you manage to get by in school, work, and chores, every day just feels like lost time that you would have enjoyed much more if you weren't depressed. If you do hang out with friends or go to some sort of event, it feels pretty bland, and you know that if you weren't depressed you might have made memories for a lifetime. The damage to self-esteem and feelings of hopelessness. That people give up on you because they can't fix you. Feeling nothing but emptiness, and working 40 plus hours a week so you don't have to think or be alone with your thoughts. One of the parts is the effect on family, especially children. You're irreplaceable, even if you are part of many twins. When you start making decisions that springs out of the depression but that isn't you. These decisions later become a reality which latently feeds the depression. You start living a life where the depression is a parasite that you have grown so close and invested so much time and effort in that the idea of letting it go seems worse than to feed it. Friends, family, co-workers taking it personally when you aren't available even though you have taken the time to explain your situation and condition. Also unprompted advice. Example when one of my close friends kept asking me to open up and once I did his advice was just stop being sad and dramatic. Depression is hard enough without everyone else making it harder. The tiredness. Everything feels like a huge effort and you often think what's the point anyway. A lack of sleep feels like a head tiredness, but depression exhaustion feels like a body tiredness if that makes sense. The guilt. All that lazy, first world problems BS often hinders you from reaching out for support. To anyone reading this I promise, promise, promise you it gets better. Being correctly medicated, my heart goes out to those in countries with poor healthcare systems, and learning about neuroplasticity completely changed my life for the better. Feeling excited about the future is a fucking amazing feeling and you absolutely deserve that my friend. Depression steals too much time. Speaking from experience. 
On weekends or on holidays I can still find myself sad, anxious or stressed despite having absolutely zero obligations. Like this is time to relax, why can I not relax? I'll just spend hours doing nothing and then the day ends. Not to mention it's really affected my memory. There's entire years of my life now where I have gaps in my memory. Sometimes it keeps you from doing things that you love to do. It can make you feel like you don't have the skills, the know-how, or the general capability to do something, so you don't do it. As a result, you miss out on opportunities that might have actually helped you. Knowing that it not only affects you, but the people around you as well. You feel guilty for it, but it's a constant circle that's hard to break. It's overwhelming and thinking about it sometimes makes it harder.